In this System Verilog tutorial, we're going to be talking about the System Verilog DPI, which stands for Direct Programming Interface. Um, so System Verilog is a, is a great language, uh, but sometimes you want to do uh, certain things in a different language. Um, typically, in, in verification, we may do other things in C or C++, um, because we may have libraries, um, legacy libraries around that we want, want to use, or we, we might want to use a, a, a C++ model that we've been using for you know performance or other other testing uh, so in this in this tutorial we'll do a brief example of how um, DPI works and at high level DPI allows you to uh, execute C and C++ functions from inside the system where log file and and the other way around it allows you to execute uh, system very log tasks and functions from a C++ or C file. So um, let's go over this example. So first I want to show you the, the first use case where you are calling a C++ function from inside your Verilog file. So this is a very simple example. Um, so we have an import statement over here and the statement is going to define a C++ function and import is uh, what, what identifies it as a C or C++ function. Uh, it's called hello from CPP and it actually takes an input of type logic and then down here in the t in the run task we actually call this function a few times and we pass it a different value of a you know first time we pass X then one then Z and let's go over here on the right so on the right we have a C++ file so um, this is one important point here is um, EDA playground uses C++ for DPI uh, it is possible to use either C or C++. Now the important thing when using C++ is that these DPI links uh, still use uh, basically the uh, the C style syntax, uh, the C style symbols. So it's important when uh, defining these functions in C++ files to use this extern C. Make sure they're linked using um, the C style. Okay, so this is a simple file. Um, you can include any headers you want, and there's one special header that um, that's specific to System Verilog DPI is uh, System Verilog DPI.h, and it should come with your simulator. Um, so here is where the actual function is, and as you can see, it's uh, it has the same name, um, and and here it uses a special type SV logic. From this header file now, SV logic is basically just a um, an unsigned integer, and then um, over here we basically uh, print out what the value of a is that that was passed in. So let's go ahead and run this, uh, and let's uh, look at a couple things. So first of all, what actually uh, what does you know how do we actually link these two files? So let's go look at the command line a little bit. Okay, so we have uh, we basically are calling the C++ compiler over here and creating a shared uh, shared object, and uh, we're passing in the C++ file. And then when we, when we call the simulator, we're passing this uh, svlib mydpi, and this mydpi is is getting linked in uh, from this .so file over here. So that's how uh, basically the compile works. So let's look at the results. Okay, so as we saw before, we call this uh, hello from CPP three times and we pass a different value of A. Uh, so, you know, and we also print out what the value of A is in system Verilog. So first we have A is X and we would pass it to C++. Um, it actually comes in as three. Of course, uh, you know, C++ doesn't have, you know, X's and Z's. So the translation is uh, is like this, you know, zero maps to zero, one to one, uh, z maps to two, and x maps to three, and and you can see this these printout statements that confirm this over here. Okay, let's um, let's move on. Let's uh, let's go and see how we can call a system Verilog function from our C++ code. Uh, so. Um, we used an import to call a C++ function. Now the other way 
is to use an export. So export is we're basically exporting a system verilog function you know, to the outside, outside world so someone else can use it. So here we have a, a function hello from SV and basically receives a bit input and just displays it with a dollar display statement. So in our C++ file over here we're gonna go ahead and uh, and call it so we're gonna pass the same the same value of a that we got but uh, remember this this uh, takes a bit and we also need to specify it as an extern over here and once again we have to specify it as extern C so it can use the C style uh, linking and another thing that's uh, that's going on here is what we actually do is we call hello from C++ in system Verilog we come over here and then from here we call back in hello from SV back we, we do a effectively almost like a callback uh, to, to system Verilog now when when you do the, this type of thing um, there's one um, special uh, special thing that needs to be specified is the context um, so just briefly the context allows the um, the C++ code to actually view the scope of where uh, where the execution is taking place. So I'm going to go ahead and uncomment this line here, and this is uh, you know these are a couple of special functions that come from this uh, svdpi.h file, basically to get the scope. And uh, let's go ahead and run this, and let's see if uh, if it works. Okay, so everything worked. Uh, so this uh, scope over here, scope is test, and as you can see, you know, the scope comes from where uh, this import statement is. So in this case, this import statement is inside this module. Now, if there was a modular hierarchy and this import statement was somewhere else, then you know this this scope would be would be different. Uh, okay, so uh, we pass in um, the value of a. To C++ and then it passes back to the system Verilog and what's interesting to see, you see is that you know it's kind of funny because you know here A is X it comes out as 1 as a bit and here you know A is Z and it comes out as 0 as a bit so <clears throat> what's actually happening is it just the least significant values getting passed around so you have to be careful when uh, when dealing with logic and with bits on the C++ side. Um, okay, so that's pretty much all I wanted to cover today. Um, there, of course, this is a pretty complex topic, and this was, was just a brief introduction. Um, the uh, System Verilog Language Reference Manual has a whole section on the direct programming interface with, with you know a lot more detail. Um, as well as in the appendix, some of the other methods that you can use uh, from this uh, svdpi.h um, header.